Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the deck I am using in FNM, and this is a deck from Saffron Olive, who makes very creative decks, and this one is no different. Uh, the deck is extremely affordable, the most expensive card being uh, the lands. The uh, Spiral Bluff Canals are pretty pricey, the Spiral of Industry, uh, the Afer Hubs. So if you don't have those, you can just play pretty much uh, Mountains and you have one one card that is blue and one card that is black. So the deck is called Pierre's Eggs. It is a lot of fun, extremely affordable. Uh, it's only $70 on paper, $16 online. And most of the pieces are commons and uncommon, so you should be able to find them quite easily. Uh, it's gonna run uh, various play sets of uh, intruders, fire re weavers, we'll talk about why you need those. Salvagers, Inspectors, Herald of Kojalak. I actually run a playset of these uh, because they do make your deck cheaper and it makes eggs a little bit better. But the main thing about eggs is your eggs, right? So the implement of ferocity and implement of improvement. Uh, Terion, uh, the puzzle knot is very good because it gives you the energy. And the key card here is Pierre's Revolution. So let's talk about the eggs first. Uh, the deck is named after eggs. Eggs, if you're not familiar, you crack the eggs, you draw cards, and then you play more eggs. Uh, eggs typically used to be a storm build, but there's other cool stuff you can do with it. So implement of improvement, implement of ferocity, ferocity, uh, and they both cost one, but you're going to play them for zero most of the time. Uh, this one, the white one, you just gain the two life, and if it's put in the graveyard, you draw a card. Now, you don't need to gain the two life to draw a card. All it has to be do, done is put in a graveyard. The same with the green one. So the green one, you can get a plus one, plus one counter, or draw a card if it's in a graveyard. The Terion is cost one, and most times going to cost zero. And when it's put in the graveyard, draw a card. So these are your eggs. This is your draw engine. Uh, this is what the deck is named after. Uh, typically, you will pay them. You won't have to pay one for them. Now, your sacrifice outlets are very easy. Uh, you have your intruder, which is one in a red, which is on color. Uh, sacrifice an artifact, it gains plus two, plus two. Uh, so when you're sacrificing all your artifacts, you're drawing cards. Preferably more eggs, right? And then playing those eggs and then pumping this guy up and that's one of your win conditions is a very large intruder. And intruders already is very good. So the eggs, once they're sacrificed, you don't really need to gain the life. Next, you have your inspector. Your inspector is what's gonna make your artifact spells cost one less. So remember those eggs all cost one. Now they cost zero, and they can be sacrificed to either of those two creatures. Pierre's Revolution is kind of the tech on this. Uh, so whenever a non-token artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return a card to your hand unless target opponent has Pierre Revolution deal free damage to him or her. So you have all these eggs out. You're going to draw a card from the egg anyway, and you're either going to get the egg back. Remember, the egg doesn't cost anything. So you're going to get the egg back to sacrifice again to draw another card, Sacrifice again to draw another card, or logically, your opponent will just take the free damage. So your eggs are lightning bolts, they are card draw mechanics, and if you have Fire Weaver out, uh, whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent. Repeat this a ton. So you're going to do a tremendous amount of damage. One of your win cons is obviously the creature, the intruder and the other creature, the black one, can attack in and do a lot of damage, or your win con is more of a direct damage type of scenario. It's a lot of fun. You don't need to crack that many eggs, right? But I, it's been a while since I played. I play tested the deck. Uh, standard, last FNM standard was uh, draft. So we drafted instead of played standard, but I'm really excited to play standard at locals again because this is a fun deck. It's very affordable if you already have the lands. If you don't have the lands, you don't actually need those lands. And it's, I mean, taking a look at the actual deck, if you cut out the 
uh, if you cut out the A for Hub, that's ten dollars savings. The Mars, that's four fourteen. If the Spiral of Industry, that's another fifteen. Let's call that thirty dollars. And the Spiral Canal, that's thirty two. So sixty to sixty two dollars. Let's say sixty two dollars of this deck is in just lands, and you don't actually need it. So it's an eight dollar deck. It's an eight dollar and twenty five cents deck, um, and that is amazing in my opinion. Uh, if you don't have the lands. Anyway, bye guys.